every time a new iPhone comes out, or Android if you're that way inclined, you're usually buying into a bit of a pricey gimmick, usually in the form of a flashy redesign and a little bit of a chip update. But with the new Go Cycle G4 range, you are getting a legit upgrade. Hello Electroheads, this is what we're going to be covering in the video today. The G4 price range, the all new features and specs. You are going to want to hear these. Today we are actually the first ones to have access to the G4 range, thanks to Fully Charged. Right. Quick Go Cycle timeline. 2020, the Go Cycle GX is released. And then just a year later, the G4 range comes out. Now, this one is the G4i Plus, which is top of the range. If you want to go middle of the range, that is the G4i. And the bottom of the line is the G4. So today, we're going to be focusing on the difference between the G4i Plus and the previous model, the GX. As you can see, they have kept the iconic design. Personally, I'm a big fan, but I'd love to know what you guys think. Is it a yay? Is it a nay? Let me know, yay or nay. The single-sided fork is particularly eye-catching. So they may not look that different from the outside, but here's how you can tell them apart with some very cool new features. First up, we have a carbon mid-frame. Now, not only does this look beautiful. I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous. But it makes it super robust and also far more lightweight than the previous models. Next up, we have carbon fiber wheels. Now, these are only available on the G4i Plus and do cost an extra grand. But if you have the money, it's totally worth it. And speaking of wheels, there is an all new G4 drive put into this, which is far more flush and also is way bigger in diameter compared to the GX. As you can see, it sticks out here and is slightly smaller in diameter. And lastly, we have an in-built DRL light. Ooh. By the way, this is what the old light looks like. It's time we talk about the new features and specs. And the biggest upgrade of them all is with the G4 drive. This little drive really packs a punch. It's way more talky. It's a little bit heavier than the previous models, but it's also way quieter. And I have to say, it's fantastic going up hills and also just stopping and starting when you're getting through that really annoying London traffic. Let's talk battery and range. The base model, the G4, has a 300 watt hour battery, which equates to about 40 miles of range maximum, which is actually the same as the GX. The G4i and the G4i Plus has a 375 watt hour battery with a maximum of 50 miles of range. This next one is my favorite new feature. It's the electronic shifting gears. So as you start to slow down in that classic London traffic, your gears shift down with you and it just makes the ride when you're stopping and starting so much more comfortable and less to think about. That's right, say goodbye to knee strain and hello to a perfectly geared head start at the traffic lights that will have the analog bike riders green with envy. The GX on the other hand has mechanical micro shift. Basically, you have to change your gears yourself. I know, we're getting too spoiled these days. The G4i Plus is one of the lightest premium folding electric bikes on the market and it weighs just 16.3 kilograms thanks to its carbon wheels. Now, the G4 and the G4i weigh in at 16.6 kilograms, which is over a kilogram lighter than the previous GX. To prove a point, I'm going to carry this thing up five flights of stairs, just for your viewing pleasure. One thing I've really noticed when riding this bike is just how comfy it is. And that is thanks to the MotoGP inspired treaded tires and uh, a little bit thicker than the GX just to add that little bit more comfort and air. Beautiful. I just want to take a quick look at the all new display. So first up to the left down to the middle is the battery life. Then you do have the light system, which comes up as four blue dots. You've also got the gear shifters, one, two, three, and then you have the torque measurement from the middle to the right. You've also got a really cool little USB-C port if you want to charge your phone when you're at the pub or on the train. You can't use it whilst you're on the move, only whilst you're standing still, but 
Hey ho, it's better than nothing. This isn't a new feature, but what I really love about the Go Cycle in general is that it has the same touch points as a regular bike. So the handlebars, the saddle, and the wheelbase all have the same geometry to a normal bike. So it feels like you're riding something regular, but you're getting all the benefits of a folding bike. The G4 i Plus really is something special. It doesn't feel like a foldable bike to ride and has the performance to squash a lot of electric bikes out there. I couldn't wait to commute to work every morning and that is saying something. And best of all, I could wear whatever I wanted. Not worry about getting my outfit covered in chain oil and arrive bone dry. It's a multimodal commuter's dream bike. All right, all right, I know you are all wondering at home, how much do these things cost? Well, let me tell you. So, the base model, the G4, comes in at 3399. The G4i, the mid-range, comes in at 3999. And the top of the range, G4i Plus, comes in at 4999. All right, well, that's it. If you want to try a bike out for yourself, well, you need to head on down to Fully Charged because they offer test rides in store. Looking at all the features today and also experiencing them for myself, I have to say that if I had the money, I would 100% buy one. Well, go cycle if you're watching and uh, you're up for sending one over to me for free. I'm up for it. Thank you so much for watching. Please do make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you all soon.